Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how to apply loads like dead load, live load, earthquake load and wind load onto our structures. So let's get started. Please note here that ETAPS automatically applies or counts the dead load of structure during the analysis. Whereas instead we have to apply it onto structure. Unit loads for various floor finishes can be found from IS code 875 part 1. Now select dead load for the load pattern and input 1.5 kN per meter square for the load value and click on apply. 3D view shows the value of dead load applied onto each slab. We all take live load values for floors from IS code 875 part 2. Now the residential buildings falling under the dwelling houses category have a live load of 2 kN per meter square. We all take this value. Select live from load pattern drop down list. Put 2 kN per meter square into load value and hit apply. You might have noticed after drawing beams and columns in our modeling video, we haven't drawn any wall to cover our structure. As this is RCC portal frame structure, walls are only used to fill the openings. They won't be taking loads on themselves. So we only draw the walls that are load bearing in nature. Now let's enter the load in this in the window. Under uniform load, in load value, put width of wall 0.23 meter into density of bricks 20 into height of wall 2.95 and hit enter. That comes out to 13.57 kN per meter. At this moment, our outer beams are selected and we have calculated out loads we are going to hit apply. As you can see 13.57 kN per meter load has been applied onto each of outer beams, the above toolbar. While assigning loads, if you feel to see what loads have been assigned onto the structure, you can do so by clicking on show frame loads assign button, select the type of load that you want to see and hit apply and click OK. Now we all modify the load so that it acts in X direction and Y direction respectively. Select EQ X plus and click on modify later load button. Zone factor for Biomir is fourth. This sheet has been taken from Rajasthan.gov.in website. Now we all refer to IS 1893 code for other values. For zone fourth, Z value is 0.24. We all select 0.24 from the list. Now we all modify wind parameters. To do so select wind X plus from the list and click on modify later load button. In order to find other variables let's switch to IS code 1875 1987 part 3. Looking in the map Barmer is coming under green area. On the bottom right hand side green strip says 47 meter per second. Input wind speed to 47 meter per second. For terrain, we are going to select category 2 as we have scattered objects around our building. Let's understand how wind force is applied onto structures through a diagram. From diagram, it is clear that wind coming from left hand side will create pressure on left hand face walls and will create suction on right hand side of face walls. First we will be applying pressure on left hand side face walls. Coefficient Cp for windward side face is 0.8. Click on apply. As you can see in 3D view, wind forces have been applied onto left face walls in positive x direction. 